lighting. This lighting. Ah. I'm looking like a house maniac. Looking like a whole meal. By the way, before we get into this video, ignore the fact that I've got two nails. I don't like to rip my nails off. I like to let them fall off naturally because it's healthy for the nails. Life hack. Or body hack. I don't fucking know. Today is a story time. Today is a story time that I don't know will make it onto YouTube. I don't know if it's classed as appropriate or not, but you know what? It's butt sex. It's butt sex. And I don't know what is inappropriate about butt sex. It's just something that two people do. It's not illegal. It's not disgusting. It's not unnatural, but you know what? I'm gonna talk about it if YouTube doesn't like it. Deal with it. I'm just kidding. YouTube, please keep my channel like. <laughs> it's just butt sex. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be about the first time I done anal, AKA butt sex. Instead of anal, I'm just gonna say butt sex throughout the whole video because I don't know if the word anal is YouTube friendly or not. I don't know, YouTube's really sensitive. So I'm just gonna say butt sex to be safe. But yes, today's story time is going to be about the first time I took it in my butthole. Let's get into the video. So, it was back in 2017, and this was with my very first boyfriend. Let's call him Connor, because that actually was his name. Connor was a c um, he is probably the most toxic person I ever met in my life. He was horrible to me, treated me like constantly cheating on me constantly always putting me down making me feel like a horrible person anything that could be bad in a boy it was him i don't know what i did to deserve him but you know what i'm not even gonna think about that i'm in a relationship now and i'm happy and the guy that moved now he is absolutely amazing he actually treats me well shout out to you bae i know you're watching i love you i feel like you have to go through your frogs in order to get your prince if you get that reference and um i finally found my prince and i'm happy but connor's a dickhead <laughs> connor was a and I don't rate him, he's an idiot. But you know what, he's my first boyfriend and for this video I'm gonna be mature and talk about him and our butt play. <laughs> Maturely, I'm gonna handle this maturely. But for real, he really messed me up mentally and emotionally and just, okay, you know what? Anyway, butt sex. I was 17 and he just turned 18. It was his 18th birthday. And I, being the caring person I am, bought him a whole... I bought him a holiday to Paris. Congratulations, you're stupid not just the holiday but i also bought him like 18 birthday presents you know like for his 18th birthday i did a whole thing he did not deserve any of that but yeah i did that for him we flew out to paris and it was i guess it was a pretty good holiday there were some ups and downs mainly you know a lot of arguments and a lot of him hitting me but anyway um we flew to paris and it was about the second day in we were having a great time went and saw the eiffel tower went and like ate food right next to the eiffel tower it was a romantic time it was a great holiday one day me and connor we were just walking around paris and we were bored as shit so we decided to just go back to the hotel and just chill out now i think loads of people are gonna agree with me when i say this you become a lot hornier on holiday i think it might be because like you have a whole room to yourself you're in a country where no one knows who you are um you just feel really free and just happy because obviously you're on holiday you're under the sun you're just you're experiencing different things and it just gets you into a really good mood so of course it's gonna make you not only happy but very horny of course depending on the person you're with when we get back to the hotel i'm feeling frisky wait i forgot to include this crucial part before we came back to the hotel i had a spicy burrito from kfc it was a bomb it was a good old burrito i don't know why they don't have burritos in the uk kfc but they had it in paris and it was 
things like the zinger burrito anyway that will be very crucial information for later on in the video we get back to the hotel and we're just chilling watching tv and then he turns to me and he's like let's smash and i'm like a duh. So we did this time our sex was a little bit aggressive and very um risque. I, I liked it. I like very intense rough sex. So that was fun for me. But he flips me over and he's like to me, can I put it in your bum? And I'm like, zzz, 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 how the fuck up? Um what <laughs> my bum my booty hole are you kidding me and um he's like you know i've never done anal before your vagina hole is already tight as it is let me see what your butthole is saying and i'm just like no like i was petrified but at the same time your girl was horny af so i was just like you know what let's experiment i'm trying to try something new let's do this now keep in mind connor was my first boyfriend so i lost my virginity to him he lost his virginity to me he was pretty much my first for everything and likewise for him so anal yes was fresh completely new to me at this time so i was a little bit nervous considering it already hurt like hell him putting it in my badge badge hole because i'm just gonna be real this guy had a thick willy this guy had a really thick willy so losing my virginity to him was already hard as it was but now i gotta put it in my butt so i'm like you know what yes let's do it i agree to it he flips me on all fours now instead of using lube like how normal people would when they're about to do anal he just spits in my butthole so um great and yeah he wets it up and then yeah he slowly slowly just put the tip in first ever so slowly he slowly started to put the tip in and then eventually he kept going and going and bitch that shit hurt that shit hurt like hell like why do people do anal like what the f that hurt oh anyway yes yeah, so he was slowly putting in my booty heart and i was freaking the fudge out i'm just like the thing is right I'm, I'm a tough girl i have a really high pain tolerance and i confirm anything and I, my head is buried in the pillow i'm just like ah! like in my head i'm like ah, ah, get it up! but like in reality i'm like <laughs> it's like put it in my butt i'm cool i'm fine i'm calm i can i can handle this i can act this no i couldn't i was dying but yeah he finally gets in and he starts slowly pounding in my butthole i'm freaking out mentally on the outside i'm chilling like oh yes 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 like you know fake moaning because that's what us fucking girls do and yeah he was enjoying it i think he came in like a minute or so because that hole was tight but me on the other hand i did not enjoy that but whatever anyway here comes the fun part so you remember how i was saying earlier that i had a kfc spicy zinger burrito well i definitely paid the consequences later for eating that burrito because once he removed his pee pee from my booty hole he said it felt weird and sticky and i was like oh okay let me go get you a tissue and let's find out what it is now the reason we did not know what it was at first was because connor was brown he was a mixed race boy he was pretty much my skin color so we could not see anything on his penis it just looked normal but yes it did feel different the texture of it felt a bit sticky so i go and get some tissue from the bathroom and i come back and wipe his pee pee for him there was poo it was poo on his penis i am disgusted that's why we could not see it because his willy was brown and my poop was brown i pooped on his willy Like, way too open i need to stop being so open this is ridiculous i can't believe i'm talking about this on the internet but yes i shat on his willy anywho but the thing is we were so comfortable with each other at the time like it was just laughable we were just literally just laughed it off i had to like turn the shower on immediately i'm like get in the shower and i literally just had to wash his willy off exactly like this just put some soap on and just and I washed that poop off. Yeah, that was my first time doing 
10 out of 10 do not recommend it's not really pleasurable i don't know if it's just me who doesn't find it very pleasurable but the whole experience was just really uncomfortable for him obviously it was great but for me i just i don't really see the whole rave in like if girls tell me oh i love it it's so great it feels so good they must be on drugs because i <laughs> i don't get it i really don't but really quickly i want to quickly tell you another funny experience so this is with my second boyfriend i promise i'm not a hoe so me and my second boyfriend we done again and this time this boyfriend had more of a skinny but long willy so his wasn't as painful when he put it in for the first time it wasn't as painful as connor but um his wasn't as bad it pretty much just slid right in it actually felt a lot better it wasn't painful at all but still was boring as shit still like wasn't that pleasurable didn't feel like ah, no no but this was the first time someone finished in my bottom in my beauty hole and bitch do not let someone finish in your butthole because that is the most uncomfortable feeling in the entire world and i'm not over exaggerating i have been through a lot of uncomfortable experiences a lot of pain and i deal with it very well but uh, 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 this was uncomfortable listen if you just let someone finish in your butthole and you need to fart don't cancel that fart write it off reschedule that fart until next year or next week until that shit has cleared up because you can feel the cum bubbles in your bottom when you fart after someone has put their um liquids in your bottom hole yeah pooping mm -mm. don't bother pooping pooping is an awful experience when you've just done bum sex I love how I said I'm not gonna say the A word throughout the whole video. Yeah, I've had to censor it out like a hundred f***ing times. My goodness, bitch. Shut the f*** up. Stop saying it. It was... <laughs> no, oh my gosh, for real though. I just, I feel so sorry for gay guys. Like, you guys have to go through that daily okay you know what i actually don't feel sorry for guys who do anal because that's where your g-spot is anyway so you guys at least feel pleasure when you guys do anal but for us girls our g-spot is in her vagina therefore penises and dildos etc should stay in our vaginas don't let someone finish in your butthole lesson learned i definitely learned that lesson the hard way so yeah <laughs> but um yeah i can't really think of much to say more about anal i've only done it like three or four times in my entire life At the end of the day if some if a boyfriend asked me to do anal i'd be down like i will do it just to pleasure them i <laughs> i don't think i'll ever enjoy anal maybe it's something i'm doing wrong or something they're doing wrong or maybe something's missing i don't know maybe they're going too hard or too soft i'm not sure but i just don't really see the point in bum sex for girls anyway i understand boys like it but us girls i don't really know what pleasure girls find in bum sex so yeah <laughs> anyways you guys there <laughs> what the fuck is that what in the fuck i just got possessed ah! Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you did consider and I just put myself out there on the whole internet for your entertainment. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell. And I will see you next week. Maybe. Because as you can see, I am back at uni now. So I'm going to be busy with uni and YouTube. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Bye.